Today on Upfront, President Trump's first month. Congressman Glenn Grothman on how Trump's doing and whether Republicans can really repeal and replace the Affordable Care Act. Then Trump and immigration policy. Democratic State Representative Jocasta Zamaripa on whether Latinos fear mass deportations. Plus, the magazine that celebrates Wisconsin's great outdoors. Why it's targeted for elimination. Covering the issues important to Wisconsin. This is Upfront with Mike Goucher. Hello again, everyone, and welcome to Upfront. President Trump will make his first address to Congress on Tuesday. He'll be talking about the economy, national defense, and border security. He's also expected to issue a revised travel ban this week. After a little more than a month in office and a flurry of executive actions, we're taking stock today of the Trump effect with Republican Congressman Glenn Grothman of the 6th District. Congressman, it's good to have you back on the program. Always glad to be on the show. What do you want to hear from President Trump on Tuesday night? Well, I wanted to take a lead on the budget. Obviously, there's a disagreement behind the scenes among Republicans, the degree to which we should reduce some federal spending to work our way towards a balanced budget. I hope Donald Trump weighs in on that area and winds up introducing a budget that's a good, responsible budget uh, to kind of help those of us who do want a responsible budget as opposed to those who aren't going to cut spending. He hasn't talked a lot about welfare and that sort of thing, but obviously it's something that's very important to me. I think, uh, you know, the current welfare system not only is very expensive, but is discouraging people from working, which is hurting the economy. I hope he touches on that a little bit. And I would like to see some more specifics as far as reining in uh, some of the illegal immigration. Um, we'll talk about those in just a moment. Generally speaking, how do you think the president has done in his first month? Are there, are there things you'd like to see him do differently? Well, I think he's doing a good job. You know, there's certain things he can do without Congress going first. Right. I think his, um, his agencies are going to do, do a good job of repealing some administrative rules that have been anti-business. I think he's done a good job of stepping up and repealing some of Obama's executive orders. I was pleased with the Supreme Court choice. I think there were a lot of Republicans out there who were worried when he got in there that you know he wouldn't be that Republican but his choice for um, his cabinet very good I know some of those mm -hmm. guys because they came out of the house and they're the type of people that I think most of the people who voted for him would be very happy with anything you should do differently in, in your mind um, like a lot of people, I wish he'd tweet a little bit less. Uh, sometimes it doesn't seem that presidential, but he is who he is. If I talk to him, I'll, I'll advise him on that. You'll let him know what you think about that. You mentioned uh, immigration and um, undocumented uh, people in this country. Uh, the president's talking about getting tougher, people who've committed a crime who are in this country illegally, about being deported. Are, are you happy with that kind of language? This has been an issue near and dear to your heart for some time. Well, it should be. I mean, let's face it. Uh, we can only take so many immigrants in this country. We need to take people who want to come here, people who are law-abiding, people who have jobs, or people who are maybe taking advantage of our welfare system or commit crimes. Given that, we have all sorts of people who are patiently waiting on waiting lists to do it right from other countries. It's wrong to let people who come here illegally ahead of the queue. And therefore, if you come here illegally and commit a crime, I don't have a problem deporting you. Uh, do you think this could do any damage to business in your district, the economy in your district. You have a lot of farmers in, in your congressional district. Uh, some of them use labor that, that, frankly, some of the people that they use on dairy farms might be undocumented workers. Could this have a, a negative impact on your district's economy? Well, I think what he's got to do is we do know we need more immigrants in this country. But the thing is, if you're going to have these immigrants, they have to be people who are coming here legally, appropriately vetted. We know who they are. Uh, we know when they're going to leave. We know if they commit crimes, we're going to deport them, that sort of thing. So I think over the last 16, 24 years, we've had presidents who really don't treat our immigration laws as seriously as they should. We now have a president who's going to treat them seriously. I think he's in touch enough with business to know we do need people here who are not American citizens, but I think unlike the other presidents we've had, I think he's going to move towards an area in which we keep track of who's coming in this country and make sure we're getting the best. But, but bottom line, do you think it will do any damage to, to your district? Yeah, not if it's done right. 
not if it's done right. Uh, speaking of doing things right, the, the former House Speaker, uh, John Boehner, made an interesting comment last week. He said that he does not expect a full repeal and replacement of Obamacare, the Affordable Care Act. He says it's just not going to be possible. What they'll end up doing, Republicans, is they'll fix the flaws, they'll put it in a Republican box, and they'll say, look, we did something. What do you think about that? I don't think that's true. We're very conscious of the fact that, particularly in the Senate, there are people who may not want to go for a full repeal. We only have 52 Republican senators, so if three Republican senators decide to bolt, we've got a problem. On the other hand, we have voted to repeal Obamacare in the past. We had a bill last time in which, through reconciliation, Barack Obama had to veto it. I think we're going to come up with a very similar bill this time. I think it's going to be hard for many senators to vote against a bill that they really voted for you know, a year ago. So I'm confident we'll do the right thing. Simultaneously repeal and replace at the same time? Um, I think we can put what they call reconciliation instructions in that will make progress towards replace. I do want to ask you about something that's been in the news a lot, and these are these town hall meetings. Uh, you see the video, right. I'm sure, uh, um, and a lot of folks turning out to voice concerns about Obamacare repeal or about immigration. Uh, you've been a guy who's done a lot of town halls during your, your time in Congress. I've looked at the schedule right. in the past. You're, you're out there doing that. You didn't do any this past week. Do you have plans to do something? Right. I think we'll probably be doing something in April. Um, I have other things to do when I come back as well. I'd like to do factory tours, tour educational institutions, what have you. But in April, we'll have some town halls, and we'll see how they go. Do, do you think the uh, there's been some Republicans who say they, these things are kind of setups for Republican lawmakers? In other words, you have a crowd that that maybe doesn't represent constituents, but represents the Democratic Party. Do, do you buy into that theory? Well. I get around my district a lot otherwise as well. I show up at church festivals, I show up at things for the local Lions Club or the local volunteer fire department, gun shows, what have you. And to be honest, a lot of times you get more interesting comments there because I'm picking people who don't show up with a particular agenda. But we're going we're gonna to do some in April and see what happens. I'm very conscious of the fact that you can get 50 or 100 people to show up with an individual agenda, and that's not necessarily a cross-section of my district. But you'd be okay if people came out to a town hall meeting and sure. voiced their I, concerns? I, I think I always had a good relationship with the protesters when I was in Madison. I expect to have a good relationship this time as well. All right. Uh, Representative Glenn Grothman from the 6th District, Congressional District in Wisconsin. It's good to have you back on the program. Thanks very Glad much to be for being with us. Coming up next on Upfront, Donald Trump's immigration and deportation policies, how they're being viewed in the Latino community. And later, Wisconsin's Natural Resources magazine may go extinct. A former editor on what the loss of the magazine might mean for Wisconsin. That's when Upfront continues. Upfront with Mike Goucher, brought to you by the American Transmission Company.